guys are easy. They usually fall for me over the first pathetic little dinner. Yeah? What do they fall for first? The shoplifting or the eating disorder? <laughs> Excuse me. Hi. I'm just curious, what's your most expensive entree? Well, we have... Sounds great. I'll take two. I'm really hungry. See you later. No, 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 don't leave me here! Peyton's the one you should be looking at, not me. Why? She's not the one acting like a perfect little Stepford wife. Uh, Why are you picking on Haley? She's throwing us a slumber party. Actually, she was throwing us a slumber party. You just butted in. Brooke, leave her alone! What? What are you gonna do, snort her? <gasps> Listen, I didn't throw this slumber party for you. You threw it for yourself, and you know it! Well, at least I didn't lie to my husband about hanging out with Chris. Whoa! Brooke, well, Peyton did cocaine with that Rick guy. Haley! What? You had sex in her bed! Okay. What is wrong with you, crack whore? Slut! Liar! Oh, pass out. What's your name again? No. Really? That was my nickname at summer camp. Because I slept with my mouth open. Right. Wait, you're not a cop, are you? <laughs> no. <sighs> well, and one for tomorrow. Please. Okay, here's the thing. Those are really strong painkillers, so just take, like, a half one every 12 hours. Oops, all gone. <laughs> She's been in there forever. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> this is my best friend in the whole wide world. Don't you think she's pretty? What is this? She found some pills on the floor. <laughs> She'll be fine. Just uh, let her sleep it off. <laughs> hey, oh, call me. Oh. <laughs> we should totally hang out more often. <clears throat> what is your name? Haley. I don't like that name. Let's call you Rock. I hear birds. Unbelievable, Rock. Did you not think to put gas in the car? Answer the question, Brooke. Come on, girls, let's go stretch. Okay. What the hell just happened? Don't push me, bitch. Let's just say payback's a bitch. <laughs> How are you laughing at? Two things I know. One, you don't deserve a guy like Mal. And two, deception always catches up to you. Always. Well, welcome to the dark side, my friend. Deception for lunch, payback for dinner, and pie for breakfast. And now here we are. Witches were supposed to melt. What the hell is wrong with you? What the hell is wrong with me? I'm not the freak with the plastic ass and the tin heart. No, you're the freak with the fat ass and no heart. You know what, girl? Formerly known as Orca, you led mouth on and you know it. So maybe it's time you get back in touch with your inner sperm whale and realize you now have fewer friends than you did before. Really? Well, my new friend Lucas just called me. Call you lately? Didn't think so. You know, Rachel, I would punch you in your fake nose right now, but you just go out and buy another one. Maybe somebody was being a full-on diva skank. You'd know. Gee, I really need to stop being roommates with boyfriend stealing skanks, Peyton. Oh, I mean, Rachel. Just beginning to think you were a real person. But you're just a slutty lying liar who lies. I don't know who I hate more, Mr. Chavez. You for being a lying bastard, or me for believing your crap and betraying my friend. Do anything about it, okay? I'll just bury it. You can't. Okay, it 
it's out. It's like the time capsule. And you could have buried it and not said anything to me. So what is that about? I don't know, all right? I just, I wanted to be honest with you, all right? I didn't want to make the same mistake I did last time. And you know what? You even said last night a trick that you really didn't miss him. <laughs> don't you dare. Don't you dare twist my words around and make yourself feel like you are not a backstabbing, two-faced bitch, Peyton, because you are. And you know it. Seriously, you are egging my house? Well, are you gonna give my dress back to me? The guy at the store told me you had it. Described you down to your bony ass. So go naked. Think of all the time you're gonna save hooking up with someone else's boyfriend. You're one to talk. You are one to talk, Peyton. Okay, so you said we were never friends, huh? Never meant anything to you! But, wanna see something else? Here's a picture of you and Lucas on my birthday. So who's the whore now? Stay the hell away from my husband. I'm just giving him a proper thank you. You think you send people to the free clinic? Ha! What are you laughing about? Your I love you send people to their grave. Well, if that's the case, then I love you, Brooke. Cool. Now I know how this dress looks on a witch. Rise and shine. Nice of you to knock. I didn't want to wake you, sleeping bitchy. Besides, I had to get the list ready. What list? This list. I get Lucas, Mouth. Half the guys on the team, I put my first choices here, but we can totally mix and match. Any and all lifeguards, Nathan's Uncle Cooper, so hot. Larry. Whoa, Larry like my dad Larry? Of course, he's my hot dad fantasy. Oh. Peyton, he is a total dilf. And besides, I gave you Dan. You are living here. Let's just assume that you're going to find a new hot dad fantasy. Um, All right? Um, Thank you very much. Good night, ladies. Happy birthday, Mr. President. God, if we lose tonight, I am going to kill Peyton. We will win. Nathan's got that look in his eye. And besides, even if we did lose, it wouldn't be Peyton's fault. Yes, it would. Everything is Peyton's fault. She's like a cursed rabbit's foot. She's bad luck. <laughs> I am serious, traitor girl. Do not take her side, not against me. Hey, wait a minute, do not call me traitor girl, okay? I'm not taking sides, I didn't know there were sides. Well, there are. You're either on Team Brooke or Team Peyton, and nobody wants to be on Team Peyton because their captain is a big whore. <sighs> Welcome to Team 